Welcome to Lesson 4 of Scrapbook.com's Tool Time class. I'm Rebecca Keppel with Scrapbook.com and in this lesson we're going to use the Crocodile and the Big Bite from We Are Memory Keepers. Both tools have two hole punches in two different sizes and an eyelet setter. The main difference between these tools is that the Big Bite has a much wider reach. You can actually get into the center of a 12 by 12 page with the Big Bite. While the Crocodile is perhaps a little easier to handle and hold, the Big Bite's advantage is again that you can reach much further. So if you have a 12 by 12 scrapbook page, you can set eyelets all the way into the center of the page or around the page like I did here. To use the hole punch mechanism on the Big Bite, you set on top the size that you want. There's a slider that goes from 3 16 to 1 8 to the eyelet setting. So if you want the 3 16 size, you set it all the way back and then you insert your paper and you'll see that there's a ruler adjustment on the side. So if you want to do a whole row of punches and you want them all to be exactly the same width into the paper, you set your ruler where you want it and then you press down. And then you can move it over and press down again and again and you'll get a nice straight line of punches. If you have trouble with holding your hand steady with the Crocodile, this Big Bite is probably a better option for you because it is kind of like a desktop tool where it's got feet that slide on and off and um, can be held steady like that. If you have the Crocodile and you want to punch on a 12 by 12 sheet, you have to get a little more creative. So like this strip here, I cut into a wavy pattern and then I punched with the edge of the crocodile here. You can see that's where the hole punch is on the crocodile. And then I just kind of went along the border and then adhered it down to my 12 by 12 sheet. But with the big bite, I was able to go in all the way into the paper and punch my holes for my eyelets. Now, these are both really handy tools to have around the house too because they actually punch through a variety of mediums. Um, if you have a leather belt and you need a new hole for it, you can actually punch through leather with both of these tools. We also have those um, vertical blinds at home and if one cracks, we can punch a hole in the other side. It goes through very, very heavy acrylic materials. For example, you can punch through a CD, and I'll show you how easy it is to do. So you line up your hole. Again, there's a ruler that you can use, so if you know you decide you want your hole right there on every single CD, you can move your ruler and then insert and squeeze, and it is that simple. So I did that with this mini album. I punched holes and set eyelets in all these blank CDs that we weren't using because now everything is digital. <laughs> and I made a mini album showing the songs that we are listening to right now. In fact, both of these tools, the Crocodile and the Big Bite, can punch through very heavy chipboard as well. You can see the designer here took nice heavy chipboard circles. She punched through and then she set eyelets on each of the pages. And the thing that's nice about those is that it keeps it sturdy so that the, uh, over time the chipboard doesn't come apart and you can run a jump ring through it and it's gonna stay nice and together for a long period of time. The other thing that you can do is punch straight through tin. So you can see she took her crocodile or her big bite and she inserted it here, punched 
through the tin and then set eyelets right in the tin. So it creates a really nice little embellishment along this top. You could also string ribbon through it and then hang a tag on it if you're giving it as a gift. It's very easy to do eyelets, grommelets, all kinds of things with these tools. I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to punch through chipboard and then um, insert an eyelet into a CD as well. So you can see this is pretty heavy duty chipboard for a legal pad. And again, you're just looking at these hole punches here on the crocodile. And there's the ruler, again, that just slides. So you can go in and squeeze. That's the smaller size hole. And you can go in and just squeeze and that's the larger size hole. For the big bite, you're gonna adjust up here with the slider. So there's one and you can see it comes down here. That's the smaller hole. And adjust with the slider and that's the larger hole. So I'm gonna show you how easy it was to for this mini album to set this eyelet onto a CD. So again, we can punch a hole very easily wherever we want it, just by squeezing, okay? And then we take a We Are Memory Keepers eyelet. Both of these tools come with really great instruction sheets um, that tell you exactly which eyelet size and, and which setting to use. The most important thing when you're looking at these machines is that they do have some instructions on the side and really the most important one is this little image here. It just shows you which way the eyelet needs to be. You can't have it upside down. It shows you an arrow. It shows you the top of the eyelet. If you have it upside down, you can ruin the tool. So make sure to check that more than anything else. So I'm going to insert just the way it is in the diagram with the eyelet facing up. I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm just gonna squeeze. And you can see it set it without all the banging and hammering. I don't know how many of you have used the old method of setting eyelets. This is super quiet, super easy, easy to squeeze. And again, if you have trouble holding something and your hand is a little shaky with that, then this is a much easier method. All you do is push it forward for the eyelet setting. And then again, it has a little instruction on it just to show you that this needs to be at the top of the eyelet. So we'll set the other hole. And it's nice having the table to sort of brace it. I think that makes it a little bit easier. And then again, you just hold and squeeze and you've set an eyelet. I hope this lesson has shown you how valuable these tools from We Are Memory Keepers are, both the Big Bite and the Crocodile. The Big Bite, because of its reach, can scrapbook and set eyelets into a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Both tools, because they can punch through mediums as tough as CDs or heavy duty chipboard or even thin tin. And I think that both of these tools are super worthwhile because they really do last a lifetime. I have the old pink handled crocodile from We Are Memory Keepers and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So I use it at home for punching through my acrylic blinds and things like that. I only bought this new one because I like the color and because the handle has been redesigned a little bit to make it a little easier to squeeze. But again, both of these tools are super worthwhile and I will see you back in lesson five when we'll get a chance to use the largest tool in this class, the We Are Memory Keepers Cinch.